author Douglas Adams in his 1984 novel titled So Long and Thanks for All the Fish writes about an incident claiming it happened to him in 1976 at a station in Cambridge. The gist of the story goes like this. Now at the train station, Douglas Adams buys a newspaper and a packet of cookies and found himself a place to sit. He was engrossed in his newspaper but happened to see that the man sitting beside him, as bold as he could be, grabbed a cookie from the bag in between, which Adams tried to ignore to avoid a scene in front of people. The man then opens the package of cookies and proceeds to eat one more. Adams is perplexed, but saying nothing, eats the cookie himself. Back and forth they go, with Adams wondering how anyone could be so bold and rude. Finally, the cookies are all gone and the stranger leaves. Now, when the train finally arrived, Adams picked up his newspaper to depart and much to his surprise, he finds his unopened package of cookies lying there untouched. If my bag of cookies is here, he moaned in despair. The other was his and he tried to share. While he was flushed with anger about his cookies, the stranger was happily sharing his cookies with him. He was now filled with guilt and regret, but it was too late to apologize. Douglas Adams' story predates the popular poem doing its rounds on the internet by Valerie Cox titled The Cookie Thief. But essentially, it is a tale about how oblivious we can be to how wrong we can be. It provides us with life lessons on how our skewed perception false assumptions and being judgmental can steal us of our health, happiness, lead to a breakdown in communication and above all, create a very frustrating situation. Friends, a potentially serious impediment to success is false assumption. Successful people in almost all professions avoid what is known as thought baggage that can often hold people back in life. A person can have all the intelligence required to succeed, but hanging on to a few wrong assumptions can act as a limiting force that robs them of their goals. How many times have we been completely convinced of something only to find out later that we are completely wrong? This is one of the reasons that many of us get stuck in life and can't really grow. Things aren't always the way they appear. There are chances that we are only seeing one side of things. Too often, we are quick to judge others or a situation based on our assumptions only to realize that we had hastily jumped to a conclusion without any idea of the whole picture. Assumptions are taken as facts when there is no proof. We all make assumptions. We do it all the time and we make all sorts of assumptions every day. Some are trivial, others are potentially devastating. We as human beings are just afraid of what we don't know. We assume facts that do not exist and then build prejudices around these assumptions leading to a bad decision based on these assumptions, rumors or other people's opinions. Now it's easy to make assumptions. All we need is incomplete information about a situation. And in the absence of complete information, we end up filling the blanks ourselves. We fill in the blanks with our interpretation of what we see or hear. And our interpretation comes from our past experiences and from those we heard about from others. A man calls his family doctor and says, Doctor, my wife is really ill and she has got a bad stomachache and she can't sit and she can't sleep. She is in pain please prescribe some medicine for acidity. The doctor said, stop assuming it's acidity and bring her to my clinic. Let me diagnose the problem. The man takes his wife to the doctor and after examining, the doctor said that she has an infected appendix and operates her. The husband is very happy that the diagnosis was accurate. Now, one year later, he calls his doctor surgeon once again and says, doctor, my wife has a bad stomachache and Please fix a surgery to remove her appendix. The doctor said, listen, I am the doctor. Let me diagnose the problem and please stop assuming 
it's an inflated appendix but the husband refuses to listen and says to the doctor don't waste time doctor please fix the surgery for appendix removal the doctor now gets irritated and once again says stop assuming things every human being has only one appendix and i have already removed your wife's appendix the husband waited patiently for the doctor to finish speaking and then replied doctor you stop assuming things it's true every human being has only one appendix but a man can have two wives and this is my second wife often we make assumptions based on our knowledge and past experience and they prove to be correct but there are times when our assumptions are not correct and by assuming without actually examining the facts the consequences can be devastating an incorrect or false assumption coupled with some negative emotion can be disastrous and all hell can break loose late one night in february 1999 amadu dialu was sitting outside his apartment block in new york city when four police officers drove past assuming that he looked suspicious they backed up their car for a second look now when dialu didn't run they assumed he must be challenging them how brazen this man is they thought as they got out of their car and walked towards him and when dialu reached into his pocket they assumed that he was reaching for his gun opened fire and killed him instantly dialu an immigrant from guinea had assumed that the police were friendly he was reaching for his wallet but he was shot 41 times by the police you and i hopefully never have to face a similar situation but it does illustrate the disastrous consequence of making a mistaken assumption friends assumptions that go unchecked or unchallenged create negative thinking loops and can poison your mind and life your thoughts and beliefs create literal changes in the cells of your body walking around with unchallenged negative thoughts can result in symptoms like stress anxiety anger blaming resentment worry aggression and even the weakened body or immunity friends we must be careful not to believe what we think or see or hear because there are always three sides to a story their story our story and the actual story too many people waste valuable time and precious resources wondering what other people are thinking intending or doing rather than just asking them for clarification we make assumptions don't waste time assuming just ask successful people simply check it out remember when in doubt check it out checking out your assumptions improves your communication your relationships your quality of life and most specially your success